In this video, we will be looking at the hypothalamic hypophyseal portal system. Now, to understand this system, it is important to first note what exactly is the endocrine system. And basically, it's a group of glands within the body that release hormones directly into the bloodstream. This is in contrast to an exocrine gland, which first releases its secretions into a duct. As is shown in this drawing, there are two capillary beds, one in the hypothalamus, which is the top portion, and one in the anterior pituitary, or adenohypophysis, which is the bottom portion. They are connected by a common portal vein. The purpose of this system is that it allows hormones to bypass the systemic circulatory system and go directly from the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary gland undiluted. Neurons in the hypothalamus cause it to secrete a number of releasing and inhibiting hormones, three of which are shown here. First, we'll look at thyrotropin releasing hormone, which causes the anterior pituitary to secrete thyroid stimulating hormone, which lastly travels to the thyroid where thyroid hormone is released and performs its functions, such as maintaining blood pressure and increasing metabolism. Next, there is corticotropin releasing hormone. This hormone stimulates the release of adenocorticotropin hormone, which then travels to the adrenal cortex, which stimulates the release of cortisol. Cortisol's functions include vasoconstriction and suppressing the, Im the immune system. Lastly, there is gonadotropin releasing hormone. This hormone causes the anterior pituitary gland to secrete follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, or LH. Depending on one's sex, LH will cause the gonads to stimulate the production of androgens for males and estrogen and progesterone for females. FSH will stimulate milk production in the mammary glands of females. Negative feedback is a process in which the product of a reaction goes back and inhibits the original reaction that produced it. In this image, the concept is being applied to thyrotropin releasing hormone, which is produced by the hypothalamus, and was an example in the previous slide. TRH causes the anterior pituitary to secrete thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, which then causes the thyroid to release thyroid hormone, T3 and T4. Thyroid hormone then goes back and inhibits the secretion of TRH from the hypothalamus, which also will inhibit the secretion of TSH and thyroid hormone. Thanks for listening to this model project video on the hypothalamic hypophyseal portal system.